Okay, I think this is part four. So what did I do? I moved the the gauges over to the uh, piston, the cylinder. I loosened that cylinder up on one side. See the pins out a little bit? Pins out. That's why I can see some movement. I'm not trying to fracture the metal or anything else. Just I see some movement. So I turn it on, lift the boom up so it doesn't time out on me on the uh, on the tilt sensor. I mean on the uh, sensors. Um, meaning that, all right, yeah. So the boom, if the boom is uh, down and it's partially touching this, activating one of them, there's two, there's two of them in there, then it will say it wants them both closed. And if you bounce around the boom and it loosens up one, it will give you your chimes saying, ah, oh, you're a... Uh, you're in a dangerous position. See? That's two, that's one, and that's two. And I just taped it over so I don't, so I'm not killing my ears. Just taped it over so I can hear it very low tone. All right, zero pressures. This is the same there, it's the same gauge inside there you guys saw yesterday. yesterday. Except for now I changed the, the, the pistons out there, the primary boom. I changed the hoses out. They, you see where the Berencia is on and the one below it. And it's the color code you see there on the bands. I changed them out so when you press this down, you're actually going up. And when you press up, you're actually going down. So now here's my yellow. And so this will be up actually. Watch it move, the boom. You see the torque that took place? Now I'm going to lower it. Yeah, I need an elbow to do this. An elbow and a finger. Now watch it lower. You see how it moves? It's got some. It's got some action in it. It's something's locking it up, and I'm thinking, oh, and it's rusted. It's rusted through. It's the pilot valve right there. The pilot control valve. Right there. And it's terrible. It's terrible. Let's go and try this one. So that's that way. And now I'm going to try one more time. Watch the boom. You see, that was lowering. Uh, yeah, the color codes change. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's try the other direction. So there'd be yellow and this. So that would be uh, up. Yep. Now let's go down again. One more time. So that's the piston retracting. And so let's look at that. There's the piston. There's a little dimple there. It's not going to be much travel at all. But let's see if we can identify it. So it just attempted to, it just twerked and twerked, but it didn't lift. And there's that band. You see the little bit of cylinder travel? That's it. That's all my cylinder travel right there before it kicks out. So it's it's working. It's telling it to work, but it's stopping. And my guess again is a pilot valve. The pilot valve in there. And that boy is rusted and it's welded and it's not easy to get out this pin. So there's my trash man. Let me go help him out. I always take care of my man. Tap his tap his hand. You know, tip. Etc. All right, talk to you guys. Oh no, no, he's going by like that. It's not my trash man. He normally slows down and parks and waits for his uh, bonus. Okay, so uh, uh, right there. So I need to get that pin back in now, which is simply is undoing the undoing undoing the connections, and theoretically it should not go in because of the. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the valve. Because of the valve. But, this is the crazy part, guys. So I can use this hand pump. This hand pump. And make this thing do what I want it to do. Hand pump, it goes up. I don't know why it's bypassing when you use a hand pump. Why it bypasses. My theory is that when you use the controls... It tells it that it must open up the other solenoid. For a safety feature, it's got to open up the return. So, my theory is you say, you tell this thing to activate. 
<clears throat> the opposite side must activate also to open up. Open up the, the uh, solenoid to allow it to just open up, not, not activate as in both of them working, functioning. So it becomes a one-way valve. Um, pilot check valve is what they're called. So the so when the fluid comes out, the other one below it, this one, has to open, allow fluid to go back to tank. So it would come back into this bot into this uh, block, and then back the tank down there. Of course, not through the pump, but back to tank. Uh, so yes, I'll check the um, what's this? The balancer control. I've got to look it up. It's they're not very nice at a at a genie as we know. Okay, so now you're up to speed. You saw the uh, again. I, I connected this to get. I got double readings. I got temperature. I got flow, which is practically nothing with this little pump. It's not even, not even a gallon. Um, and the uh, PSIs, they're coming out the same. Coming in, coming out. I just test the hose anyway. It doesn't do anything else on this side. It's just testing this side. It's testing this side. Of, this side of the block from the over to the piston, which I'm which I'm okay with because I already use this to test it, and also I use that. But. For video's sake and for educational reasons, you guys are now um, now getting now getting that too. Uh, this became springy. It's never done this before. It's springy now. Just note 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 to self. Note to you guys springy it's like a spring in there now it's it's never did that before like i said all of these guys work um you don't have to over crank this thing uh these are the manual overrides so you press the yellow and one of these guys and you'll get action i can't i don't think i can do it for you guys let's see maybe how would i do that now yeah, i won't be able to do it at the same time show you the, the boom there's the boom where it is that gap Right there. So now there's the gap. Much bigger. All I did was you turn the power on, hit your yellow, hold the yellow, and hit the button down here. And you can hit that one to return. Not you don't have to, you can bypass this pump action going driving you crazy. Just do that and that will get you your manual and using a pump to help you out manually. Alright, take care guys. This is four. Five will come, uh, and then uh, on as soon as the weather breaks, the uh, I'm gonna call it. I'm calling different shops now. It turns out they don't really work on genies. They're working on JLGs and things like that. So at a buck seventy-five an hour, you don't want um, a JLG guy working on this. You want somebody that knows this control board, the uh, and the system. You don't want somebody to go, oh, this looks familiar. I don't want it looks familiar. I want somebody who knows it. Uh, okay, and you got to pay for their direct, their uh, travel time, both ways. Take care.